American Idol's runner-up David Archuleta performed at the Holiday of Hope Tree Lighting here in Hollywood. We talked to him about his plans for the holidays. Hopefully I'll be at home. That's the plan so far, but you never know what will come up at the last minute. That's kind of how the schedule is now. It's like you have to be prepared for um, anything to happen, really. But um, so far, it looks like I'll be able to spend some time with my family, and hopefully it'll stay that way. Archuleta's birthday is on December 28th, so every year he has a double celebration. Yeah, I usually just have like a little party with my friends and family, and we usually just hang out and do stuff. I always tell them not to bring gifts, though, because I always feel bad, because everyone's always like, I don't know how to get this person. I'm just like, don't worry about it. I don't need anything. And especially this year, because right, everyone's always like, oh, well, David needs something now, because people know who he is. It's like, I'm still the same kid. I still don't need any presents. You can just come over and we can hang out. You don't need to bring any presents for my birthday. <laughs> we just want to have fun. David Archuleta grew up with a strong salsa dancing influence. Will he be dancing salsa for us someday or performing in Spanish, maybe? I sing a few songs in Spanish, like Apuro Dolor. That's, only, that's really the only song I really moved to. I, can't, I don't really dance. My mom is actually the one who, who does salsa and merengue, in bachata, in cumbia. And so I've, I've always grown up loving that stuff and watching her perform, but I've always been too shy to do it. I, I've taken classes before, and I used to dance with my little, with my older sister, but that was a, that was a while back. So now I'm more focused on singing and on uh, performing that way. But you know, I'd love to do some Spanish songs. I actually, um, not like a week or two ago, I recorded Crush in Spanish. So we're trying to see how that'll work out and see if the translation's okay because it's it's still a little hard for me to pronounce all the words and you know and make sure all the syllables are done right and stuff. <laughs> But um, we'll see how it goes because I don't have like perfect fluent Spanish or anything like that. But hopefully it's good enough. How do you say crush in Spanish? Um, there isn't really any way to say crush in Spanish. You know, we were trying to think about that, like, me gusta is, or me gusto, you know, that's usually how people say it, right? So it's like, we were thinking maybe atracción, because it's, it's kind of like a similar, similar thing, but there isn't really a, a word in Spanish for crush, you know? This year has changed his life completely, and this has also had a really strong impact on his resolutions for 2009. New Year's resolutions, I'd love to just, um, just to continue working on music. I'd love to keep on writing and working with other people and working on performing and even talking. <laughs> just all those things that I feel are really important when it comes to becoming an artist and really defining who you are as a, an artist and a person. So that, those are definitely things I'd like to really work on and focus on next year, especially since I think next year we're going to start going on um, my own tour. So that'll be fun, whether I'm touring with someone or um, on my own or who knows what will happen. But we're, we're working on it right now and trying to figure out what would be the best thing. His album, David Archuleta, has been quite a success since its release last November. So I have no doubt he'll be able to fulfill all his resolutions. Here's the last message from David Archuleta to all his fans. Hey, this is David Archuleta and wishing you happy holidays. You heard him. Happy holidays. I'll see you back next week with more of your Fox Fix. Ten, nine, Eight, seven.